Welcome back to ASVAB Roadmap, and video 25 is about percent problems. So let's get into it. Percents are ratios of an amount to 100. So the techniques used to work with ratios and proportions are valuable tools when you work with percents. Let's start with an example. A bag contains eight marbles, and six of them are green. What percent of the marbles in the bag are green? Step 1. The question gives the total amount of marbles and the amount of green marbles. Step 2. The question asks for the percent of total marbles that are green. Step 3. To solve this, you can set up a proportion equating the numbers of marbles to the unknown percentage. Like so. And then we just continue to simplify. So 75% of the marbles are green. Let's talk about converting English into math on percent problems. To do this, use the following conversion table. Percent means divided by 100, or use decimal or fractional equivalent. Of stands for multiplication, so you'd use times. What means x, or basically any variable you would like. Is means equals. Using these translations, you can see, for instance, that 40% of 25 equals 0 0.40 times 25 equals 10. Some ASVAB questions require you to increase or decrease a number by a given percent. To calculate such increase or decrease, take that percent of the original number and add it to or subtract it from the original number. To increase 25 by 60%, first find 60% of 25. Then add the result to the original number. To decrease 25 by the same percent, subtract the 15. On other ASVAB questions, rather than giving you the percent increase or decrease, we'll ask you to calculate the percentage change between an original value and a new value. In order to calculate that change, always use this formula. If the percentage change is an increase, the result will be positive. If the change is a decrease, the result will be negative. As that percentage change problems, ask for the change relative to the original value. Using the new value in the denominator will produce an incorrect answer. Let's do an example. A camera that originally cost $125 was sold on sale for $100. The sale price was what percent less than the original price? Step 1. The question gives the original price and the sale price of the camera. Step 2. The question asks for the percentage decrease between the sale price and the original price. First thing we do is set up the problem inside of the formula that we stated before. And then we simplify the top numerator by subtracting. We further simplify by applying the fraction rule. 100 times negative 1 over 5 equals negative 20. Since the result is negative, you know that there was a price decrease. The answer is negative 20%. Step 4. Briefly confirm that the answer makes sense. 20% of 125 is 25. So your answer is correct. Alright guys, that wraps up percent problems. In the next video, we'll talk about statistical terms. I'll see you there.